Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I want to talk about something today that uh, I'm not sure everyone's going to agree with me on, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, as the title says, I'm going to be talking about Indian and why Harley Davidson riders like myself should be thanking Indian. Or Polaris, as some people would like to say, but really, it says Indian on the bikes. They bought the rights to it. They're considering the heritage, so let's give them their due. That said, first thing I want to talk about is, uh, is pressure. I want to talk about the pressure that Indian has been putting on Harley Davidson for a long time now. If it wasn't for Indian, we wouldn't have a lot of cool bikes. We wouldn't have the new Pan America. They wouldn't have come out with that cool ass Fat Bob. They wouldn't have come out with the Dyna Low Rider S. They wouldn't have come out with my Softail Low Rider S. They wouldn't have teased us with that Bronx, right? It was they canceled. But I think we're gonna see something awful name, but I get that they're appealing to the urban market, right? I get that. And also, uh, what else am I forgetting? The new Sportster, right? The new 1250 motor. We wouldn't have that if it wasn't for Indian putting pressure on Harley. I mean, they're feeling it on their bottom line. I, I don't care. You know, Harley Harley dealers will tell you otherwise. They'll be like, oh, no, no, no. But that's bullshit. That's bullshit. You see Indian bikes out there if you, if you look for them. They're definitely out there. And if it wasn't for Indian, you know, we'd be lucky if we were if we were getting fuel injection from fucking Harley, man. They'd, they'd still be putting out bikes with fucking buck horns. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and they've made all their bikes look cooler. Their street glides, their road glides, everything just looks like it's finally in the 21st century. Albeit 20 years late, better late than never. Right? So, so we've got to thank Indian for that. We have to. We really do. Because we know that Harley Davidson wouldn't have done that shit otherwise. They just wouldn't have. And another thing we can thank Harley Davidson for is putting potential new riders on American bikes. Because this, this was myself included. A lot of young people, you know, they want to get into motorcycles. They may even be into cruisers, but, but they're not trying to ride a Harley Davidson. They know the stigma that comes with it. You know, old boomers riding around, you know, role playing and shit like they're in fucking whatever, uh, it, uh, whatever, whatever that all those old biker movies were. Man, I can't even think of the name of. I almost said Gone with the Wind, <laughs> but uh, the Wild Ones and Easy Rider and shit like that. You know, a bunch of dentists dressing up. That's what I think of when I think of Harley, when I think of Harley Davidson. Especially with the price point on their bikes. I mean, let's get real here. And so does everyone else. But there's a whole generation of young people that want to ride. They don't necessarily want to ride Harleys, but they do like the idea of, uh, of an American bike. So you know what they do? They go out and they buy an Indian. They buy an Indian. So even though, even though they're not on Harley Davidson's, at least they're on American bikes, right? I'll be honest with you. My first cruiser was an Indian. Uh, I own three Harleys now. I don't own an Indian. But uh, my first cruiser was an Indian. It was a big-ass bagger, uh, Indian Roadmaster. And I, I only rode sport bikes before that. Um, and it was great. Got me into it. It made me fall in love with, uh, with the cruisers, man. And eventually, down the line, I did buy a Harley. Uh, I bought a Sportster, and, and I had so much fun with that bike. And, uh, and I finally, I got it. You know, I was like, you know what, man? These, we can't let the boomers have all the fun, man. These bikes... These Harleys are actually awesome and they're a ton of fun if you know how to ride them, you know, it's just, you see all these older guys riding around with them, like their grandmas and grandpas, and more often than not, they are, right? But it doesn't have to be like that. Um, so yeah, we can thank Indian for that, man, coming out with the FTR. You know, that, that's bringing in a whole, new, a whole new generation of riders, the Scout which is a badass bike by the way. Harley got a shitting on the Scout. That Scout that they make is way quicker than a fucking V-Rod. It's a nasty little bike, man. It, truly it is. It's nothing to sneeze at. Um, not that I would not that I would ride one. But um But yeah, that's 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 all I wanted to say about it, man. Uh, so don't shit on Indian. Well, we have a lot to thank them for. They're a good company. You know, even if you don't ride Harley's or you don't ride Indian and you, don't, and you want to ride a cruiser, an American bike, but you don't want to ride a Harley, go look at Indian, man. They'll let you test ride one, no problem, down at their dealership. They got a lot of cool shit down there. Uh, anyway, that's all. Y'all be good out there. Peace. Uh, see you guys next time.